Hi everyone, it's Heidi. Today we're gonna to work towards a nice low to the ground arm balance pose named Baby Grasshopper or Baby Hopper. Um, it's a great way to introduce yourself to arm balances because we keep one foot firmly on the floor. That way if you're working out to that upper body strength. We're gonna engage your core, we're gonna open up your hamstrings and your hips to get you ready, give you a couple chances at this pose through this class. So we're gonna start at the back of your mat in Ragdoll. So suck your stomach in and just hang heavy over your legs like a waterfall. You can put your hands on the floor, relax your neck, and then grab your elbows. Sometimes it feels nice to interlace your, fing interlace your fingers right at your neck. Just let the head hang. Whatever feels good, maybe a little bind. It's a nice time in class to set an intention. Right, you showed up for yourself today. That's one of the hardest things to do. Make sure you get the most out of your practice state in your present moment. So one word or phrase will bring you back, back to your place on your mat. All right, let's do a halfway left joint. Long in your spine, crown of the head stretches towards the front. Tailbone stretches back and then fold it down. Reach it all the way up. Just lengthen, lift as high as you can, lift your chest. Then we're going to sit down into bear pose. So a lot like your chair pose with the feet here hip width distance. Sit your hips back, bring your chest parallel to the floor and the crown of the head stretching towards the front, tail stretching back. Bring your shoulders back into your back pockets, belly in, pull the knees over your big and second toe. Now bring your arms out to the side, airplane wings, and lift them up, squeeze the shoulder blades, get your chest a little lower, tailbone down, now bring it back and squeeze the shoulder blades more, and now bring it back to the starting point. Let's do that one more time, sit down, bring them out to the side, airplane, lift them up, squeeze the shoulder blades, chest stays down. Squeeze them back a little bit more. Flying forward, forward fold. Halfway left, and then walk it out, walk it out over Raja today. Belly in, high in your back toes, spread the shoulder blades out, gauge your glutes, fire up your core, drop the knees and hover them to the floor. Spread the shoulder blades out, take a couple breaths here. Inhale, suck the belly in. Empty out. One more. Get empty. Let's stay for another one. One more. I said that already. Ha. Hips back. Downward facing dog. Pedal it out. You hear that a lot. Do something a little different. Maybe the top of the foot goes on the floor this time. Maybe drop a shoulder. And just notice what needs a little love. All right, send your right leg high, bend, stack, open it up. Feel that great stretch on the right side of your body. Let the knee just peel open. And right, flex your right foot, straighten the leg, and bring your knee to your nose. Keep the foot flexed, spread the shoulder blades out, send it long. Bring your knee to your right tricep muscle, hike it up a little higher to your shoulder maybe, and then plant the foot outside the right hand. Drop your back knee, right hand on your thigh, and just add a little stretch to the hips and a little twist here. Left hip goes down. Feel that right shoulder open to the ceiling more. All right, three-legged dog, right leg goes high. Now you gently put your left knee to the floor. Untuck the toes, right foot goes out to the side. Gate pose, plant your right foot, faces the top of the mat. Right hand on the thigh, reach your left arm over. Thread your ribs. Come up, interlace your fingers, get the Charlie's Angels grip on, release the index, thread the ribs, belly in, and pull the body to the right. That stretch on the left side of the body, plant your right foot, left shin. Come up to center, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left leg, send it up. Bend it, stack it, open it, maybe flare your toes. Let the left knee open up a little more. Let gravity just peel that left side open. 
Straighten the leg, flex the ankle, bring your knee to your nose. Hold it here, thigh up higher, send it long. Left knee to left tricep muscle, hike it up even higher, maybe you can touch your shoulder and bring the foot outside your left hand. Drop the back knee, left hand on your thigh. Just let the right hip go to the floor a little bit. And maybe you got a little twist. It's early in class, so just see what your body can do. Maybe just putting the hand on the thigh is enough. Let's go back to your three-legged dog. Then gently bring your right knee to the floor, untuck your right toes, left leg goes out to the side, left foot flat, left hand on your thigh, and reach your right arm on the side. Side bend, lateral flexion. Come up to center, get your Charlie's Angels grip, press down with your left foot and peel it back over that side again. All right, come up to center, find your high plank. Low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Stay here, take a breath. Hug your armpits in, stretch the heels to the floor, soft bend in elbows and knees. One more. Look forward, walk or float, top of the mat. Half. Fold. Rise and lift, lengthen, stretching up. Fold it down. Halfway, walk or float and take it through your flow. High to low plank. Upward facing dog, press down the tops of your feet. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. Bend your knees, look forward, top of the mat. However you get there. Half long in the spine, always creating space. And fold. Rise and lift. Stretch and fold it down. Halfway. Walk or float, take it through your flow. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right leg goes up, warrior one. Get your hips low, spin the back toes out a little. Now lift your chest, go for that back bend, lift. And take it down. Or just go to your down dog, whatever your body needs right now. Stay or play. Left leg up, warrior one. Rise and lift, knee over your ankle. Press the out of your back foot down. Go for your back bend, lift your chest. Take it down through your flow. Knee to back, downward facing dog. Deep breath, bend your knees, look forward. Walk or float, top of the mat. Half, fold on the exhale. Rise it up, link your breath with movement. Fold it down. Half. Walk or float, take it through your flow. High to low plank. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Right leg goes up. Warrior one. So inhale, rise. Peel it open for warrior two. Reverse. And then take it through your flow. Triunga, Chaturanga, or Downward Facing Dog. Left leg, Warrior One. Open to two. Strengthen your back leg. Reverse it and take it through your flow. Meet us back. Downward Facing Dog. Deep breath, empty it out. Walk or float, top of the mat. Half, fold. Rise and lift. Chair pose, take a seat. Weight on the heels. Lighten your 10 toes. And again, bring the shoulders back a little bit to your back pocket. Squeeze your knees, fire your thighs. Right up, fire them up and squeeze your sit bones. Stay low with the hips, tailbone drops. Now one big inhale, lift your chest and forward fold. Half, walk or float, take it through your flow.
Right leg up. Warrior one. Open to two. Take it to your reverse. Triangle side angle pose. Forearm can always be on the thigh. Push the knee back, touch your toes. Strengthen the back foot into the floor, the baby edge of the foot. Pull the ribs in, twist your spine, reach up. Hips down, twist it open even more. Now stay low, keep the right knee bent. Reverse. And let's take it down to a low lunge. Left hand down, right arm spins open, twist or lunge. Come high on your back toes and peel the body open a little more. Taking this a side plank, you can always drop your left knee to the floor. Right leg goes back. So you can press your left big toe into the floor. When you're steady, lift the right leg. Reach the right arm towards the front. Stretch the right heel towards the back. Now crunch it in. Hold it a little higher. Send it long. Crunch it in. Press down with your thumb and index finger. Send it long. Crunch in. Hold it in this time. Can you bring it up higher? Now take your foot forward into a low lunge. Shine that chest forward and then bring your left foot up to meet the right. Half. Fold. Rise it up. Lift. Sit down, chair pose. Really fire it up. Squeeze your knees. Pull it up through the thighs. Squeeze your sit bones. Drop the tail. Light in the toes. Take a deep breath. Lift the chest. Fold it down. Half. Walk or float. Take it through your flow. Downward facing dog. Left leg goes up. Warrior one. Open to two. Stay low in reverse. Take it to your triangle side angle. Form can be on the thigh. Or put it right in front of the knee. Touch between the big and second toe. Push down the outer edge of your back foot. Squeeze the glute. Reach up. Touch the ceiling. Stretch. Touch the top of your foot without leaning on it. Twist your spine. Keep your left knee bent. Reverse. Low lunge to the front. Right hand down. Left arm goes high. You're high on your back toes right now. Twist it open. Side plank. You can always put the right knee down. Kickstand the right leg. Swing the left leg back. Plant your right foot into the floor if you can. You can be on the nice edge. Let's see if you push the right foot down. The big toe. Stretch your left arm forward. Flex the ankle. Stretch the left heel back. Crunch it in. Do a little more than you want to. Really in. Send it long. Add some crunch. Go long. Crunch it and hold it and hike it up a little higher. Bring it forward. Low lunge. Shine the chest forward. Right foot comes up to meet the left. Half nice and long. And exhale, fold. Rise and lift. Stretch up. Create space. Sit down. Chair pose. Keep your knees together. Hands the center of your chest. Take a deep breath. Fire the knees and the thighs up and left elbow outside your right thigh. Thumb at the center of your chest and peel your right shoulder up. Hips down again. Tail drops. Pull the left hip crease back. Get the knees and hips back in line. Take a deep breath. Suck the belly away from the thighs and peel it open a little more. Look up and forward fold. Halfway, left foot steps back. Rise up, warrior one. Open to two. Stay low. Reverse extended side angle. So front stroke all the way forward. Elbow can be on your thigh or just like your triangle side angle in front of the knee. Reach your left fingertips forward. Look up underneath your left armpit. Bicep to your ear. Pull the right ribs up to the ceiling. Suck the belly in. Hips down. Just open, twist a little more. Reverse. Three-legged dog. Right leg goes high behind you. Bend step. Open it up. And bring your knee to your left tricep muscle. Hug it in. Send it long. Knee to right tricep muscle. And this time, plant your back foot. Kick it out. Rock star. Feel it open. Feel the chest open. Feel the nice edge of your pinky toe, the right foot. Push your hips up to the ceiling. Press down. 
to create space in that bottom shoulder and hand. Strong star, left hand down, make some chaturanga arms, do a little push up. Push up, back to rock star, and we're gonna crunch it three times. Push your left foot down, hips up, elbow to the knee, three, see if you can keep the right leg up. Stretch it out, two, you can always put it down. One, hold it, left hand down, right leg goes high, lift it up, knee to nose, send it long, foot down between your hands, straighten the both legs, pyramid pose. Maybe flex the right ankle. Draw your right hip crease back. Lengthen over the thigh. Plant your foot and send the left leg up, standing split. Lift up even higher. You take right hand to your heel, left hand to your heel. Just see what you got. Lift the leg up, body down. Squeeze the glute, point your toes. Left foot to the floor. Half. Fold. Rise it up, lengthen, lift. Chair pose, you gotta do it on the other side. Squeeze your knees, fire your thighs up, squeeze your sit bones, weight in the heels, hands to prayer, deep breath, right elbow, outside your left. Thumb at the center of your chest. Keep squeezing, firing up the thighs and pull your right hip crease back. Draw the left shoulder up, stack the shoulders and elbows vertically, tail down, suck the belly in away from the thighs. Take one more inhale, exhale, bring it out, look up and forward fold. Half, right leg steps back, warrior one, rise it up. Open to two, back stroke reverse, and front stroke extended side angle, bicep to your ear. Really press the outer edge of your back foot down. Feel that stretch in your outer of your ankle. You can put your forearm on the thigh if you need a little support, take it when you need it. Right hip down, thread your left ribs up, twist open, reach for the front, stretch down with the back foot. Stay low, reverse back stroke. Three-legged dog, hands on the floor, left leg goes up. Stack it, open it, flex your left ankle, and then bring your left knee to your tricep muscle. Send it out, bring it to your left tricep muscle, kick it out, rock star. Peel it open, plant your right foot down. Open up even more, press down with your thumb and index, create space in the bottom shoulder. Let's do your strong star. Right hand down, chatter on the arms, do a little push up. Peel it open, rock star. Hover your left leg up, crunch it in, flex the left foot, crunch. Go long, crunch, go long, crunch. Right hand down, left leg up, knee to nose, send it long. Foot between your hands, chest forward, and then flex the left ankle, pyramid pose. Draw the left hip crease back. Let's go over your standing split. Bend into your left knee and send the right leg up. Take your left hand to your heel, maybe right hand to your heel. Lift the right leg higher, squeeze the right glute, point your toes. Let's see what you got for balance today. Start where you're at without judgment, work from there. Foot to mat. Half and fold. Rise it up. Cactus back bend. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Reach your arms up. Interlace your fingers, release the index fingers and cross your thumbs. Arms with your ears, take your left foot, cross it in front of your right, line up your pinky toes. Squeeze your thighs and just bend to the left. Thread your ribs, pull the body over to the left, press down with both feet. Come up to center, let's take it to the right. Squeeze, thighs, glutes strong, press down with both feet, pull the body over. Right shoulder comes open a little more. Lift to center, fold it down in front. Really feel that stretch in the back of the legs. More weight to your toes. Drop the head. 
right? That's like a 10, 15 round kettlebell. You don't have to carry around. So let it relax, let your mouth relax. We're gonna send your left leg up standing split. So uncross it and send it to the sky. Body down the front leg. Now curtsy, bring your left knee behind your right knee. Bend your right knee as much as you can. Suck your stomach in, get as low to the ground as possible, and then send it up. That was three. Bring it down again, as low as you can get. Suck the stomach in, really activate your core, fire it up. Send it up. Bring it back for the last time, press down with your whole right foot. Maybe even lift your arms up, hover. Hands on the floor, left leg goes up, low lunge, send it way back. Wiggle it about so you're not on a balance beam. And let's come all the way up to your crescent. Put your right hip crease back, lift the back knee crease up, cactus back bend. Come up to center, hands to home. Lean forward with your chest, take a deep breath. Left elbow outside the right thigh, add your twist. Come high in your back toes. Press your whole right foot down to the floor. Bend into your front knee. And on your exhale, twist it open even more. Stay for one more. And open your arms. Feel your shoulders back behind you. Press down with your back foot. Now find your foundation, your strong legs, Gonna hold you up, push your feet down, put your right hip crease back. Now press down, it'll hold you, trust it. Lift your chest. Pull the left shoulder forward and the right shoulder back. Like you're reaching for a pull in the back of the room. Sit into your hips, bend your right knee. Take a breath, bring it out. Stay, left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. One more, empty it out. Warrior two to the front. Humble, squeeze your shoulder blades, get your bind or your elbows, drop the right shoulder inside your right knee. Press down both feet, your foundation, you can find the earth, then you can drip your neck and your head like water. Suck the lower belly muscles up and in. I know that right thigh is starting to burn, it's good for it. Release your bind, put your hands on the floor, support yourself. And then keep low in your right knee. Stretch your left hand back towards your left toes. Get into the stretch. Right knee still over your ankle. Sit a little lower, you're almost done. Take a breath. Exhale it out. <laughs> and then low lunge to the front of the room. Left hand stays down, right arm goes high. Twist and open. Let's get off that front leg. Skandasana to the back. Turn your left toes out, left knee out. You can be high in your side lunge here, or hands on the floor, flex the right foot. Maybe you can keep the left heel down. Go enjoy that stretch. Let's go to the front, skin it to the front. Low lunge to the back of the room. So we're gonna do some hip stretches. Draw your chest forward and take your right knee and put it behind your left ankle. We're gonna go into cow face. So drop that left leg down, right leg down. Left thigh on top of the right and sit your hips down between your heels. So cow face, your knees look like the lips of a cow. So once you settle in, let's take two breaths here. I want you to take it to the left. So lengthen your chest, take your left arm behind you Right arm on the other side of your left thigh and twist over the left. Deep breath. Empty it out. Now release that, go to the other side. Lengthen and twist. Every time we do a spine twist, create some space. All right, here's the tricky part. Lean to the right, take your left foot, flatten it out and stretch the right leg out in front of you. Take your left arm inside your left thigh, chaturanga arms right now. So right elbow snug into your ribs. You're on to the right side of the body and I want you to do two push-ups. One, lean down on the floor, push back up. Flex the right ankle. One more, come down and push back up. 
Good. Now make sure that left heel is higher than your right thigh. Take your left arm. Reach it forward. Create space through the shoulder and the back. And now take that hand. Grab the pinky toe side of your foot. Suck the stomach in. Hug the right elbow into your ribs. And come down. Push up. Now come down. Stay low. Draw the chest forward. And just see. Press your left foot into the floor. And hover your butt off the floor. Flex the right ankle away from you. Gaze forward and see if you get your hips up a little higher. That was a little baby hopper right there. You're going to get another chance. Take your right heel, bring it back to where we started, and take your both hands on this right side of the mat towards Raja. If you can't see him, he's still there. And you're going to spin around. Wide leg stance here, ragdoll, facing the front of the mat. I want you to crisscross your ankles with your, your, your hands over your ankles. Drop it down. So you're grabbing your ankle, left hand to right ankle, right hand to left ankle. Now send your left arm up, hold onto your right ankle, and then thread your left arm behind your right and grab your ankle again. Send your right arm high, open it up, twist it, Right arm goes behind your left, grab your ankle, and then send the left arm up. We'll do three more sets of this. Go your own pace, always thread inside. Right arm up. And thread. Two more sets. Left. Thread it behind. Right. Thread it behind the arm. Last one, lift. Thread, suck the lower belly muscles in. Right arm, lift and thread. Drop your head. Put your hands on the floor. Do a half my lift. Bring your feet together. Forward fold. Rise it up. Lengthen. Eagle on the right. Right elbow underneath the left. Sit down. Right leg over the left. Press your whole left foot down and sit. Let's lift your elbows up in this one. Push your top thigh down and lift the shoulders up over your hips. Suck your belly in. Press down with your left foot. Bend your knees. Lift the elbows. Unwrap it all. Go into airplane standing on that left foot still. Send the right heel back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Dial the pinky toe down. Little up dog in your chest. I have to step forward and need a little more space. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Go into half moon, left hand down, right heel stretches out behind you. Reach your right arm up. Peel that right hip open even more. Maybe lift up, touch the sky, so left hand hovers. Now right, both hands on the floor, square your hips out. Flex your right heel, stretch it behind you. Pull your knee to your chest. Suck your stomach in and stand all the way up. Balance. Hug the knee to your chest, thread into ribs. Suck the belly in, send it out, bring it in, send it out, bring it in, send it out, stand on it. Revolving standing head to knee, left side, place your left foot on an imaginary block, take your right hand, grab the outside of your knee or the outside of your left foot. Lock your standing leg, contract your thigh and squeeze underneath the glute, send your left leg out and your left arm behind you. From your left hip, stretch the heel. Really flex the ankle and feel the stretch underneath the Achilles tendon. You're gazing over your left hand. Thumb is up. Left palm up. Reach up and over. If you have your knee, just hold your knee. Crisscross the knee. Tighten your leg and stay up tall. If you have your foot, strengthen the both legs. Make sure they're both locked. And then bend the elbows out to the side, forward to your knee. Keep bending. Suck the stomach in. Put your forehead right on the knee, round your spine. And slowly come out. Take a deep breath. Empty it out. Dance around the right, standing bow. Pick up your ankle from the inside. Stretch the left arm up. Reach up, touch your knees, scissor legs. Take a deep breath and kick. Kick and stretch and bring the body down. Thigh down, chest down, parallel to the floor. Dial the belly button down the inside of your left thigh. Kick up harder to see your foot over your head today. If you're looking in a mirror, reach your fingertips forward. Touch between your eyes. Really reach. 
your arms the arrow, target between your eyes, relax the back shoulder, two shoulders in one line, body down more, stretch forward, now lift up, kick harder, toes to the ceiling, kick, and come out, feet together, arms down the side, reach your arms up, cactus back bend, come up, Charles Angels grip, try putting the other thumb in front, make it a little more uncomfortable, and this time cross your right foot in front of your left. Belly and squeeze the glutes and bend to the right. Squeeze your palms, wrists straight. And let's come up. Go to the left. Come up through center and fold it down. That great stretch, maybe line up your pinky toes a little more. All right, set up for the standing split. The right leg goes up, left foot stays down. Lift it up, lengthen, and then curtsy lunge. Bend your right knee behind your left and come down as low as you can. Send it up, curtsy lunge, get low, press down with your whole left foot. Send it up, last one, hold it, see if you can hover. Press your foot down, suck your stomach in, push your shin into your calf muscle, shine the chest. Go ahead, hands to the floor, right leg goes up, low lunge, wiggle it about, find your lunge, high on your back toes, crescent lunge, we lift. Down that left hip crease back a little bit more, stomach in, front the pelvis up a little, and cactus back bend. Squeeze the shoulder blades as you bend your left knee a little more. Hands to home, bring the chest forward, deep breath, long in the spine, and then you get to twist. Right elbow side to left thigh, left thumb to your chest. And these crescent twists, you can always put the right knee down. If you need a little support back, take a step back if you need to. Left shoulder up, take a deep breath. Find your strong foundation, empty it out. Hips stay low, open your arms, and peel your shoulders back behind you towards the right side of your mat. Reach up, now strong legs, they will hold you. Press through the floor and lift the chest. Peel that left arm back and reach your right shoulder forward. Try to lift the back knee, crease up. Suck the lower belly muscles in your exhale, ring it out, reach back, reach forward. One more, empty it out, twist. Warrior two, find it, breathe through it. Humble your worst, squeeze your shoulder blades in the chest, and drop the shoulder and sit your knee. Press down both feet. Find some strength in both of them. Pull the navel into the spine. Lift the arms over your head. Now hands to the floor. Support yourself. Take your right hand towards your right foot. Bend into your left knee more. Good, low lunge to the front, right hand stays down, left arm goes high, spin it open, open the chest, scan basana to the back. Bend into your knee, flex the left foot again, you can always stay high in the side lunge. Let's scan basana to the front. And low lunge to the back of the mat. Shine the chest forward, going for cow face. Bring your left knee behind your left ankle. Bring that right foot around in front. Right thigh on top of your left. Snuggle the touch down on the floor between your heels. Bring the heels as close as you can. And lift the chest and take two breaths. Now we're gonna take it to the left. Take your left arm outside your left thigh. Lengthen and then twist. Point your toes a little bit if you like. Let's take it to the other side. 
Take both arms to the left. Nice release in that twist. All right, take your right foot flat on the floor. It's still above the left knee and straighten your left leg. You're leaning onto the left side of the body. Flex the left ankle, the leg that's long and strong. Flex it. Chatter on the arms, left elbow snug into your ribs and do a little push up. Press down with your right foot. Push up. One more, come down. Hug the elbow into your ribs and push up. All right, this time send your right arm way towards the happy Buddha here. Lengthen through your shoulder and then take your hand and grab your left pinky toe side of your foot. Hug the left elbow into your ribs and you're gonna do a little push up. Push down with your right foot. Come down, hold it. Suck your belly in, stretch the heel away and push up. One more. Come down to the floor, hold it there. Push your right foot through the floor. Engage your lower bond to suck your belly in and see if you can cover your tush up. Gaze a little forward, they open up through the collarbone, stretch the heel away, and rest everything back. Heat to the left here, tuck your left heel towards your glute, and then we're just gonna span around into that wide-legged ragdoll position again like we were before. Let everything hang heavy. Let's try that little exercise, that dynamic exercise. Crisscross your hands. Grab your ankles, drop the head. Right arm goes up, thread it behind your left. Left arm goes up, thread it behind your right. You got four more sets, do your own pace. I'll count around if you'd like. Arm up, thread the right under, left up. Thread it under, right up, thread it under, left up, thread it under. Right up, thread it under, left up, thread it under, right up. I think this is the last one. Left up, hold it here. Release them halfway, feet together. Fold, rise and lift, lengthen, eagle on the left, left elbow underneath the right. Sit down, left leg over the right. Find your footing, your right foot. Push it through the floor. You can bend your both knees. Squeeze your thighs and then lift the elbows to the sky. Suck your belly in as you press your top thigh down. Shoulders over your hips. Sit lower. Upper body back more. Lift the elbows. Airplane, so unraveled at all. Flex the left ankle, balancing on your right leg still. Bring the body parallel. And then up dog in the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades and send the left heel back behind you more. Flex the ankle and lift the leg up more. Half moon, right hand on the floor, left hand to your hip. Again, stretch the heel away. Your toes come back towards your shin. Really stack your hips. Reach your left arm up. Press down with your whole right foot. Hover the right hand by creating more space. Both hands to the floor. Square your hips, dial the pinky toe down. Bring your knee to your chest. Press down with your right foot. Stand all the way up. Lift. Now send the leg out. Pull it in. That was three, send it out. Pull it in. Two, send it out. Pull it in. Step forward. Revolve standing head to knee, hands to your hips. Bring your right foot on that imaginary block. Take your left hand, put on the right knee, or if you can grab your pinky to the side of your foot. Send the right leg out and your right leg back, right arm back behind you. If you have your knee, just hold the knee. Release the right arm back, but push your hip forward with the both hips to stay in one line. Spread the fingers wide and tighten your standing leg. Right palm up and over, crisscross the knee or the foot. Find your strength first in your breath. Your both legs are straight, elbows out to the side. Keep pressing down with all four corners of your right left foot, forehead to your knee. Slowly come out, take a deep breath, empty, standing bow dancer on the left, reach your right arm up, catch your inside of your left ankle, lift, and start to kick, kick and stretch, bring the body down, chest and arm parallel to the floor, squeeze the left glute, you're going to kick your foot up, 
Engage your standing leg, lock your knee, reach up between your eyes. Now relax the shoulder and kick into it. Feel that left shoulder go invisible on your right, two shoulders in one line. Reach up between your eyes, kick and stretch. Bring your body down, stretch forward more, kick harder, toes to the ceiling, kick and come down, feet together. Hands to the center of your chest, take a deep breath. Empty it out. One more. And reach your arms up. Cactus back bend. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Lift and fold. Halfway lift. Left foot steps back. Left hand down, right arm goes high, twist it open, high under back toes. So low lunge with the twist. And let's take it to warrior two. Stay low. Straight lift your right big toe, hug the muscle underneath your hip, gaze over your middle finger. Reaching forward and back, strengthen the back foot. Let's reverse and straighten the front leg. Spread your ribs and reach back, reach stretching on the right side of the body. Straight legged triangle, so tighten up the thighs, nice and strong in the legs. Reach the right fingertips forward, right hip crease goes back, and then windmill your arms. So a hand can rest on the shin, or you can hover it in front, behind. Press your both hips towards the left side of the mat. Reach up and peel the arm back a little more. Now come up to center, both feet face left side of the mat. Interlace the fingers again, wide legged back bend. Reach up and go back. Lift, forward fold. Take whatever inversion you'd like. You can grab your heels. You can get your feet up in the air. You can do a wide legged down dog. So headstand, forearm stand. Whatever you wish right now. Stay with your breath right here in this very moment. If you're upside down, slowly make your way to the floor. And do a halfway lift. We're going to do another hip stretch. So you're going to walk your hands all the way back behind you, coming on to the Nice edge of your pinky toes. So walk your hands towards the front of the mat, turn your feet, and then walk your hands all the way around to the other side of the mat. You're on your pinky toes. Squeeze your thighs and suck your stomach in. You can support yourself here, or you can try a bind. And the bind would be your left arm in front of your left thigh. So it's above your knee. You push it back out a little twist. Take your left arm underneath and see if you can catch them. I'm almost there. A strap or a towel would work. Maybe I'm not almost there. You can see better than me. Suck the stomach in, ring it up. Hands back to the floor. Now walk it forward to low lunge to the front. Send the right leg high, bend, stack, and open it up. And bring your foot down underneath your chin, setting up for a revolved triangle pose. Hands to your hips. Send your left arm high, put your right hip crease back and come back. Spine parallel to the floor, including your neck spine. Rest your hand on the shin, foot, a block, or the floor, outside of the pinky toe if you want to challenge yourself a little more. Gauge your hip muscles, pull the navel into the spine, and reach the right arm up or you can keep it on your pelvis. So press down with your feet. Suck the lower belly muscles up and in. Pull the right hip crease back towards your back heel. Twist it open, see so if you can get lighter in the bottom hand. Good. Hands to the floor, right leg goes back and up. Bend, stack open, look over your left shoulder. Stay here, flip your dog. Press to lift. Right hand down, right leg goes high. Bring your knee to your nose. 
send it back, bring the foot forward, and send the leg up in a standing split. Curtsy lunge, bend the left knee behind you, hold it. Now I want you to straighten your left leg and stretch the heel away. Bend your right knee, stretch away even more, and then tap the toes to the floor, lift them. Come back, left leg goes up. Curtsy lunge, bend it. Straighten it out as much as you can, push your whole foot. Tap the toes, lift them. Bend the knee, lift it up, one more. Pull it in, send it out, lift the foot, straighten it out, tap it, and then send it up. Foot to mat. Good. Half. Fold. Rise. Cactus back bend. Squeeze. Lift. Fold. Half. Right leg goes back. Low lunge with a twist. Right hand stays. Left arm heels open. Warrior two. Find your two. Front of the pelvis up. Lift the left big toe up. Hug the muscle underneath. Reaching forward and back. Relax the shoulders down. Reverse it. Straighten the front leg. Reach back. Thread your ribs. Engage your glutes. Straight legged triangle. Reach for the front. And then windmill. Try not to hang out in this. Pull up the thighs. Push your both hips towards the right side of the mat. Take the support on the shin if you need it or hover it. Think about the sky, not the ground. Open it up. Peel it open. Push your both hips forward. Engage the thighs. Press through your feet. Calm up. Both towards, toes towards the side of the mat. Interlace fingers. Find your opposite thumb in front. Up and go back. Lift and fold. One more chance in inversion. Grab your heels. Wide legged down dog. Or go upside down. Right, if you're upside down, make your way to the floor. Halfway lift. So going for that hip stretch again. Walk your hands towards the front. All the way to the other side and come onto the pinky toe side of your feet. Hands all the way around the other side. Squeeze your thighs. Find your strength. And that good twist really from the strong abdominal muscles here. Now if you want to try the bind again, the right arm goes above the knee, press the left thigh away, and take your right arm underneath there. Find your balance and take your left arm around and see if you can connect the dots, twisting the spine, squeeze the thighs. Good. All right, walk it around to the front of the mat, low lunge, bend and journey. And send it up behind you. Bend the stack, open it up. Foot underneath your chin. Set up for a revolving triangle. Turn the right toes out. Hands to your hips. Come all the way up. Right arm reaches. Left hip pulls back. Come down your spine. Tailbone to neck is straight. Parallel to the floor. And then rest the hand where it will go. My hand to the floor doesn't make it more advanced if you have the slope of your spine to the floor. Nice and parallel. And then put it where you want it. Hand, foot. Outside of the foot, if you want to challenge the balance, pull the left hip crease back, left hand under your hip, or reach the left arm up to the ceiling, suck the belly muscles in, press down the inside border of your front foot, outside border of your back foot, reach. Can you hover? Lift the left arm up, hover the bottom hand, open the chest, my hands down. Left leg goes up, bend stack open, maybe flip your puppy. Press and lift. Plug down with your thumb and index. And always try to turn this into wheel. That's in your practice. Left hand down. Left leg goes high. Bring your knee to your nose. Send it long. And then bring your foot between your hands. Right leg goes up, standing slit. 
Try the curtsy lunge, hold it right knee behind your left. Now straighten the right leg and flex the ankle and stretch it out. Tap your toes, lift it, pull it in, send it up. That was three. Pull the knee in behind, send it long, flex your ankle, tap the toe, pull it in, send it up one more. Knee behind, send it out, tap it, lift, knee behind and send it high. Foot between your hand, foot on the floor, half and fold. Rise up, cactus back bend, squeeze the shoulder blades. Lift, fold it down. Halfway lift, walk or float, take it through your flow. High to low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take two breaths here, inhale, exhale. One more, and you know. Right leg goes up, bring your knee to your nose, hover it, press the floor away, flex your ankle, like you're stepping through, you're not quite doing it yet. Hips up higher, and then send the leg back behind you. One more, press the floor away, spread out the shoulder blades, knee up higher, hips up higher, and then plant your foot down. Low lunge to the twist, right arm goes high, peel it open. Right hand down. Left leg goes up. So I'm going to try that baby hopper, entering it from a standing position now. Bend your left knee. Curtsy lunge. Left hand lined up with your big toe, but shoulder width apart. Remember, the elbow has to snug into your ribs. Take your right hand, grab the pinky toe side of your foot, and your left knee, remember, has to be behind your leg. Be careful if your knees have any knee issues. Look forward. Press down with your whole right foot. And then bend your right knee, get your left elbow to hug into your left ribs, press down with your foot, suck the belly muscles up and in, open through the shoulder, the collarbones more, open the chest, flex the ankle away from you, stomach is in. Make sure the tush is up, and then release it, tabletop, drop the belly cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more. Exhale. Tuck your toes, hips go high. Left leg goes up. Flex your foot, pull the knee to your chest. Look forward. Hips up, thigh up higher. High on your back toes, suck the belly in like you're stepping forward, but not quite yet. Send it back, bring it forward, thigh up, flex it, left ankle, pull it in, bring it forward. Right hand down, left leg goes high, peel it open. All right, last try at this. Right leg goes up, standing split, curtsy lunge. Set your right hand, turn your left toes out a little bit, that might help. Right knee behind your left knee. Stretch the arm, flex the right foot, and take the pinky toe side with your left hand. Stretch the right leg out. Bend your right elbow. Gaze forward. Press down with your left foot. Suck the belly in. Hover. Lift the tush. Shine the chest forward more. Flex the ankle. It's your baby hopper. Come all the way out, and let's do a little cat-cow. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, press it away. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, press it away. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Tuck your toes. Right leg goes up, bend, stack, open it up. Bring the foot outside your right hand. Drop the knee back where we started. Right hand on the thigh. Feels a little different now. Okay, 
Maybe catch your back foot, pinky toe side. Release it gently. Draw the right shin across, half pigeon. Knee behind the right wrist to the outside of the mat. Hip square. Put a block or a towel rolled up underneath your right hip if you need the support. Lift the chest and then fold it down. Walk the chest and arms a little more forward. One more breath, make it a good one. Slowly back out. You can go into tabletop or down three like a dog. We'll switch sides. Left foot outside the left hand, drop the back knee. Left hand on the inner thigh. Right hip gently goes to the floor. Maybe catch your back foot, pinky toe side. Gently release your foot. Take yourself into half pigeon. Left knee goes to the outside of the mat. Go with your steps, hips square, maybe left hip supported by a towel or a block, right leg straight. Lengthen through your spine, your chest, and then draw it down. Draw your chest and arms more forward.
one more breath. Slowly come out. Send that left leg behind you, either to the ceiling or a tabletop. And bring your knees to the floor. Let's just turn around. Lie down on your back. Bring your right knee in. Give it a good squeeze. A little wind removing pose. Both shoulders down. Pull it in. Let's pull it over to the left side, supine twist, whatever variation you'd like to take. Both knees can be hugged up to your chest like a cannonball, one leg straight, eagle wrap. And just gaze over your right. If that's a lot on your neck, just look up to the ceiling. Come back to center, stretch everything out. And then pull the left knee in, give that a good squeeze, windy on the left, both shoulders down, pull it in. Let's do that supine twist on the other side. Whatever variation you did on one side, make sure you carry it to the other. Stretch it out and then bring both legs in. Give them a hug, squeeze the arms around them. Grab your elbows, your fingers, your wrists, whatever you can get. Head on the floor, relax your feet, give yourself a good hug. Draw the chin down, look for the negative space above your knees. Nice little diamond shape. Feet up in the air, happy baby. Grab your feet, pull the knees down, press the feet up. And stretching your tailbone down to the floor. And then just release the feet, let them float in the air for a moment. Lights up the wall. You can also add the arms, that feels good for you. Just let the big bones of the body settle into the sockets, into the joints. And gently float everything to the floor for your final pose. Take up some space. Arms and legs can be wide. Close your eyes if they aren't already. Scan your body. Release some tension. Let's take one final breath together. Breathe in. Fill it up, and just hold it softly. And when you're ready, exhale right through the bottom of your feet. Stay here as long as you can. Thank you so much for sharing your practice. Teaching yoga is one of the 
most favorite things I love to do. I'm so happy I get to share it with you when you let me do that. Light me honors and sees the light in the teacher and all of you. Namaste.